is a packaging free grocery store and I'm willing to bet that you haven't seen a grocery store quite like this one. <laughs> <laughs> hey team, welcome back to another Levi Save the World Hildebrand episode, the channel where we prove that you don't need to be a hero to save the planet. Today I am coming at you from a hotel room here in Vancouver, British Columbia. It is very rainy outside. Yeah, that's the, that's the view from my hotel room right now. And for today's video, we are going to be checking out an amazing zero waste grocery store, and we're going to see how they have responded to the COVID-19 pandemic. I am also very stoked to announce that this video is sponsored by audible.com. I actually made a video about this place two years ago, and I just felt like I didn't give it an honest representation because there's so many awesome parts about this business that I missed. So today we're taking a deeper dive into what they do and how they they do it and we're even gonna get an opportunity to chat with one of the co-founders, Allison. But really quick before we get into that, I think it's important to establish grocery stores in context. Grocery stores are a business model that makes very little sense. The profit margins are insanely small. And so today you see that basically every single grocery store is owned by a massive conglomeration because they have to own so many franchises in order to be profitable. Because of this really fierce competition, we've entered into something that has become known as the race to the bottom with food prices. Now, while low food prices seems like a really amazing thing, Thing and is really important for lower income communities, it is kind of a misnomer. See, cheap food that you buy in the grocery store has costs that you don't see immediately. But we don't really have time to get into how broken our food system is, so instead, we're gonna go to Nada and we're gonna see how they are trying to create a new food system within a broken one to hopefully be a model for the future. I showed up at Nada before they were officially open to get a tour of their zero waste grocery delivery service that they've implemented since COVID began. Harry is the floor manager and he was the one showing me around. Essentially, the whole Nada team has turned from a customer service staff to a packaging free fulfillment center. Orders are made online and then fulfilled by staff and placed into these baskets to be picked up or delivered. But even within these new circumstances, they've taken amazing steps to be as zero waste as possible. In the back is where fresh produce and refrigerated foods are kept, and Nada has created a fully circular food system. When food is close to expiry, it's then turned into house-made products like dips or soups. Any leftover food is then donated to the Food Stash Foundation, which collects discarded foods and brings them to charities in need or creates compost that is then given to sanctuaries and farms. When Nada decided to change their business model, they realized that packaging would be difficult, but they've come up with some pretty clever solutions. A jar exchange program where jars are donated and refunded has worked surprisingly well. They even collected old freezer packs from the community that they then upcycled for the refrigerated shipments. They reuse paper packaging to pad more breakable orders while en route, and the only virgin packaging that is actually sent out are these paper bags that can be easily composted in Vancouver's municipal composting system. On top of this, all of their delivery orders are transported in these reusable tubs and brought around the city using e-bikes. Isn't that awesome? So this is really impressive because it has been very hard for a lot of businesses to pivot during this COVID pandemic, but to see something like a zero waste grocery store that is already fighting so many structural challenges, be able to adjust and make something work in this context is so cool. But really quickly, I wanna break down some of the misnomers around expensive groceries at zero waste stores. So here at Nata, they prioritize organic and local high quality foods whenever possible. This includes vegetables and pasta and coffee and other things like that, but also zero waste essential goods like the stuff that you see behind me on these tables. So essentially you're paying for a whole foods or higher quality product, but you're also getting it packaging free. Another common fear that people have when they think of zero waste groceries is that it's gonna be a huge pain in the ass, but Nada has gone out of their way to make it as easy as possible before 
all of this chaos was happening behind me, they had this system set up where you could get your jars automatically weighed using a very clever automated system. So there's two systems here. We have the permanent, which we use a sticker, and actually the cool thing is you can even see if there's a chip inside. Oh, and wow. It memorizes, it memorizes the weight of the container, and it's dishwasher and everything's safe, so you can actually run it through the dishwasher. The other system is the non-permanent, which is the free, but it's only good for in-store only for this container. And then when it does that little thing, you put it on here with the lid. What? So this is actually weighing it, and it's memorizing that that's, uh, that's wow, and then it right gives you the you weight know. right at the yeah. end. That's but Nada goes beyond just making it convenient and keeping the prices as reasonable as possible. They've also taken their business model to a whole other level. So Nada, as a business, just like my YouTube channel, is a 1% for the Planet member, which means that 1% of their revenue for the entire year they donate to an environmental nonprofit. They are also a registered B corporation, which as you know, if you watch this channel, is one of the most rigorous third-party verification systems that a business can get. Not only that, but the business is co-founded by two women and they are incredibly focused on equal employment standards for everybody. And I think we're going to get to go chat with them right now. Nada is a venture founded on community that is ultimately trying to work together to change a system in a collective effort. We are operating our business within a broken system. And what we're really trying to do at NADA is to not only educate a lot of people on where their food comes from and sort of the intricacies of supply chain, and, but also really try to support a just food system and ensure that the products that are coming in and the individuals that we're supporting, we're doing so for a reason and we're, communi we're communicating as to why. We are sourcing each individual supplier um, and with that comes a ton of work, and it's fascinating work, and it's work that is so worthwhile, but it takes time. I think people are increasingly wanting that and ready for a change. I think we've really seen a lot of systems be exposed over the last couple months, and I, I hope that there is an increased consciousness around the need to push towards a more regenerative future. Isn't that place amazing? Honestly, it is so inspiring to go into a space like that and know that you can pick anything in the grocery store and it's going to be awesome for everybody. It's so nice not having to think about, oh, is this food from this country? Is it imported? Is it wrapped in plastic? All of these things are just taken off the table and you can just enjoy finding stuff that you want to buy. And this brings me to one of the points that I make on this channel all the time, and that is your dollar counts. Where you spend your money influences the communities that you're a part of. Every dollar that you spend at a place like Nada ensures that those kinds of practices continue into the future. It also proves the business model works and that people have a desire for this kind of service. But of course, not everybody has the ability to just increase their monthly food budget. But reducing your waste and impact on the planet isn't something that needs to cost a lot of money. And there's a ton of amazing resources that can teach you how to do this beyond this YouTube channel. And that's why I'm stoked that Audible is sponsoring this video. Audible is the largest online audio library and they have other stuff too, like podcasts, comedy specials, and Audible exclusive content. They actually have an incredible variety of books about how you can live more sustainably and how you can become more zero waste. My favorites is The Story of Stuff, which is a book that highlights and outlines our incredible consumer behavior and how our society is largely dictated by the things that we feel like we need to own. It seems like for a lot of people, we're getting busier and busier, and apparently less and less people are reading books, which is horrible. But Audible makes that a little bit easier because you can listen to your favorite book while you're on your way to work or while you're mowing the lawn. It's also a great way to get in some literature and not have to buy a physical book. No hate against physical books, but it's amazing that we now have the option to learn about stuff just by plugging in our headphones. 
So if you want to try Audible for yourself, head down to the description where you can get yourself a free trial. You can also check it out by heading over to audible.com slash Levi Hildebrand or texting Levi Hildebrand to 500 500. That's audible.com slash Levi Hildebrand or texting on your phone Levi Hildebrand 500 500. Now I know what you're saying. Levi, I don't live in Vancouver. I don't have access to that incredible zero waste store that you just teased us all with. But you might actually have something nearby that is better than you think. When Leah and I were traveling around the world, we would go out of our way to Google zero waste shops wherever we were, and I was amazed at how many we could find if we just did a little digging. But in the event that you are in a plastic paradise and there's no zero waste options near you, then you should support local food producers whenever possible. Sign up for a local food box or support your local farmer through a subscription or CSA service. Now more than ever, we need to support the businesses that are making our food system more sustainable. But regardless of where you're from and where you get your food, I wanna thank you for watching this video, for taking some time out of your day to spend some time with me, because I really appreciate that. And of course, if you are subscribed to this channel, then we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.